So the first time that I realized this quote, be it till you become it, and how did it you know, sink into my soul, how did it start to help me, was when me and my son left our house at the time where we were living, the tenancy had ended, and we had nowhere to go. I had no money, I'd hit rock bottom in every area of my life. I'd lost all my money, I was in debt, hundreds of thousands. I was in such a bad place emotionally. Everything from my past had caused scars in my body. It's literally taken me to have an illness. I had an autoimmune disease, which I was still battling all the time to get rid of, to keep at bay. And I remember walking out onto the street with my son and we walked out and I was pushing him along in his stroller and I was carrying bags and there was a couple under the stroller of all our belongings, of everything that we owned. And I remember just thinking, like, is this it? Is this what it's come to? Like looking around, just thinking, how have I taken us to this place? Like how have I gotten to such a a bad place in my life where nobody believes in me anymore, where I've lost hope in myself. And I was like, how do I get out of this mess? How do I move on from here? And then I started, I just realized like, if I, if I can get us off the street, I can be a role model to my son. I can go on and be a role model for other women, for other men in the world who have struggled, who are suffering in any way and show them how they too can become who they wanna be, even if they are at rock bottom, even if they've been through the worst time in their life. I'm sorry. And and I did, so I, I, I had bangles on at the time. Okay, it was like the only thing I hadn't like yet thought about doing and selling and I took it off and I walked into a pawn shop where you sell jewelry. And they, they knew I was desperate. because so I was like, I need the money. They were like, come back and you know, if you don't want to take her off, we'll come back in a couple of weeks. I was like, I don't have a couple of weeks. I was like, I'm on the street. And they knew in that moment. Anyway, they offered me something really bad. So I thought, okay, let me try somebody just like walking up to somebody on the street. I felt like a fucking gypsy. And I was just like, what, what, how much will you take for this? You know, how much will you take for for this bangle and somebody offered me like a few hundred it was worth thousands but that few hundred dollars it doesn't matter what it was at the time it was in pounds where I was in London but that few hundred dollars transformed into a roof over our head much 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 later that day so we were on the street till like real late at night finally I was able to go into a hostel with my son after we'd sold this bracelet and From that few hundred dollars, I was then able to start becoming who I knew I needed to be, not only for my son, but for the world, for myself, for other people out there. And I would sit all day with him and I would just start to use my mind and all the knowledge that I'd read because you can take everything from me. You can take everything from me, but the one thing you can't take is my mind and that is what I teach people I tell them read study learn listen because when you expand when you learn and you grow who you are no matter what happens to you nobody will take you to rock bottom because you will know how to get out when you read this it is the toolbox of how to become the multi-millionaire you want to become the trillionaire you want to become how to build an empire how to have confidence how to bring yourself back from anything you're going through how to get through something and in some cases how to heal, like I did. I healed myself of an illness, of being broke. I would go into charity shops with my son every day and I would put on clothes, right? I would grab something that, this is actually from a a charity store too, funnily enough. Not from that time, but I would take it, but I wouldn't buy it. I would just borrow it and I would put it on. I'll say, I'll be back in a second. I've got to do a photo in the street. I'm going to promote it. I had an Instagram. Thank God I still had an Instagram. So no one would have known I was ill or homeless during any of my downfalls, out of any of my breakdowns, out of any of my worst points in my life. No one would know because I was being it until I became it. I was dressing the part. I was out on the street taking a picture. I was out there like taking a picture in these outfits of the brands that I was doing, knowing if I post it online, I can tag the brand and I will maybe get a message back from one of the brands at some point and they'll say, hey, Natasha, can we pay you? And guess what? 
that exact thing happened. So while my son was playing on the floor with the toys at the charity shop, I was standing on the street getting a stranger to take a picture on my phone of me wearing the outfit. I would tag the brand, take the outfit back in the charity shop, and then, no, I'm gonna donate one day. I wanna, be, I wanna make some money to donate. I'm gonna get out of this, and I'm gonna come back and help you. And that was the first thing I did. When I got out of that mess, the, one of brand contacted me that I took a picture of, and they came to me and they said, hey, we love your post. Can we give you 150 bucks? And I was like, yes. That 150 bucks turned into my multi-million dollar business that I, I now have, my empire I've created. The, stages I speak on, the books that I've written, they've, it's turned into an ecosystem and a community, a place for others to be loved and seen and valued and heard. And that's what I aim to do in every moment of my life is show someone how they do not need to go through the lows that I went through. And if you are in a low, here's the toolbox to get you out. I'm going to read the back to you because this is from my heart. You are with the universe, the co-creator of your reality, attracting new possibilities, people, circumstances, and places to you like a magnet. You are meant for more. You were born into this world to achieve greatness, to help others, and to leave a legacy. And I would say that to myself over and over and over like a mantra, knowing that what I was going through on the street with my son, knowing that we didn't have a house, we didn't have anything to our name, but I knew that was not my destiny. And I knew if I apply these methods that I've written about in this book, if I apply this principle over and over and over these secrets of ancient wisdom and neuroscience that I knew already but if I applied it and didn't just know it I actually took action with it I knew I would not only get off the street I would become a role model for my son a role model for others in the world and I would go on to serve this mission for the rest of my life and that is what I've done and I committed that to the universe to God I said in my lowest time if you show me how to heal if you show me how to overcome trauma and pain and suffering I promise to go on and help others in the world forevermore. I will never go back to being a webcam girl like I was 10 years ago. I will never go back to my drug addiction that I had 10 years ago. I will never go back to any of these addictions and problems and I promise to pay it forwards. So I hope that this reaches you today and just know you read what you need in that moment, in that moment of despair, desperation, wherever you are right now in your life. Maybe you've already got something going good, but you want to break through to a new level. Or maybe you're lost, you're stuck. This is for you. This book is so transformative, and I hope that it reaches you today. Thank you.